What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take. It's all brought to you by our great friends here at Rosie's Corner. I'm here on a Thursday, actually, instead of tomorrow, because I'm heading out of town to Buffalo to see my man Kyle Duty and uh, hit up a Sabres game and uh, try to play golf in the morning for the first time this year. Probably will be freezing and um, hit up a little barbell wings. But here, and it's actually perfect timing, because we've got mac and cheese and fish today and tomorrow here at Rosie's Corner. And get the pizza wing combinations here at Rosie's for your NFL draft meal tonight. What a great deal to get here at Rosie's Corner. The pizza wing combos, you can get sheets, larges, mediums, smalls. Um, and they've also got uh, just an unbelievable array of chicken wing flavors like the Gold Fever and the Garlic Parmesan as well. And now they are actually uh, jarring their sauces here at Rosie's Corner. Right now they have the Gold Fever sauce available for sale, which is good not just on chicken wings, but a lot of your barbecue meats as well. So get on down here to Rosie's Corner. Pizza wings, pasta, hot and cold subs and more. Burgers, stuffed shells, you name it. It's all here at Rosie's with the drinks, the desserts, and the salads out as well. Plus they have chocolate milk for the kids. All right, uh, mock one, uh, mock round one for tonight uh, for the NFL draft. I got it right here. And in the next, oh, I don't know, seven and a half, eight minutes, I'm going to try to rip through these as fast as I can. I got Trayvon Walker from Georgia, the defensive end, going to the Jaguars, number one. I just think he's been you know, going up the charts so much. And I think he, according to a lot of experts, has a higher ceiling than Aiden Hutchinson, who I have going number two, the defensive end from Michigan to the Lions. Now, again, a very safe pick, I think. He's one of the safest players in this draft. Uh, just a workaholic, unbelievable motor, played on the big stage, etc. just like Walker. I got Hutchinson, two to the Lions. Number three, the, Tex the Texans are in a spot where they need a million pieces on this roster. I think they go Iki Ikwanu, offensive tackle from NC State. Big, burly, Great mechanical guy, awesome hands, awesome feet. Ekwanu to the Texans at three. Kayvon Thibodeau, the greatest unknown in the draft from my uh, chair. Uh, he could be an absolute uh, bust or he could be an absolute Pro Bowl Hall of Fame type player. He's that good. He's that athletic. He's that fast. But again, the commitment to football and all the rest that you've heard, I still have him going uh, high in this draft from Oregon. The edge rusher goes to the Jets. Number five, the Giants, if they're going to commit to Daniel Jones or a quarterback in the future, they got to figure out that offensive line. That's Joe Shane and Brian Dable's number one job. I think they do it here with Alabama offensive lineman Evan Neal who I think is the best lineman in the draft. Malik Willis, quarterback out of Liberty. I think the Carolina Panthers take a stab at him. Everybody's wondering where the quarterback will go first, Pickett and Willis and some others, uh, you know, Matt Corral, et cetera. Uh, I actually think that the quarterback position will be taken in the first round a lot. Um, that's just a prediction. I could be wrong. Listen, let's face it. You don't know. I don't know. Uh, experts don't know. That's what makes this so fun, uh, the unpredictability of it. But I still think quarterbacks go because it's a quarterback league. And even though, you you, know, you don't have a Trevor Lawrence or a Peyton Manning here in this draft. You've got some pretty good guys who could have major, major, major bang potential. Malik Willis is at the top of that list. Sauce Gardner, number seven, goes to the Buffalo Bills in a trade with the New York Football Giants. The Bills trade way up to get their guy and the biggest hole on the roster, even though they think it probably isn't as big a hole as Bills Mafia, considering the Trey White um you know, despite having Trey White gone until October, November with the ACL, and of course, uh, Levi Wallace signs in Pittsburgh. Dane Jackson, they are very confident in him, but I need a corner, and I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm probably wrong, but I'm going to take a mock draft, just absolute blockbuster for the Buffalo Bills to trade up to seven, uh, trade a haul of picks, including their 25th overall in the first round and get Sauce Gardner, the number one corner out of Cincinnati. Number eight, the Falcons, they need a lot of help, and they need it quick, and I'm going Garrett Wilson, wide receiver for Ohio State. He's the most polished wide receiver, the best wide receiver, and they could really use him. Imagine him and Kyle Pitts in your offense for the next five to ten years. Kenny Pickett, quarterback, Pittsburgh. I got him going to Seattle. Seattle, of course, in the post-Russell Wilson era, and I think they will take a QB in this draft. Um, you know, I'm, I have Pickett going there. If Willis doesn't go um, where I have him, I think that the Seahawks could take him as well. I got the linebacker out of Utah, Devin Lloyd, going to the Chargers in a trade up with the New York Jets. 
uh, because I think the Chargers, with their uh, with their defense, they've got a lot of edge players like Joey Bosa and all the rest. They brought in secondary help. You have Asante Samuel and J.C. Jackson. But what about the middle of the field? They could use another guy who's interchangeable, play a lot of different linebacker positions. That guy's Devin Lloyd at number 10. I'm going to go Kyle Hamilton, safety out of Notre Dame, going to the Commanders at number 11. Just a terrific, terrific player. I think he's going to be a stud in the NFL for a long time. Great tackler, great in coverage. Terrific, terrific player. Derek Stingley Jr. Don't have a ton from him the last couple of years. 2019, we go back to that. He was practicing against Joe Burrow. He was practicing against Jamar Chase. He was practicing against Justin Jefferson. I think he's going to be a pretty solid pro, and I think the Vikings could really use a corner. I have him going there at number 12 to Minnesota. Number 13, Drake London, the best big stretch receiver in this draft. Going to the Houston Texans, man, they need a lot of help everywhere, as I mentioned. They take the receiver out of USC at 13. Jermaine Johnson, an underrated edge rusher from Florida State. I have him going to the Ravens at 14. I've got Jamison Williams, a wide receiver, going to the Philadelphia Eagles. I think the Eagles will wait that one out. you got an Alabama connection there with him and Jalen Hurts. How about that? Eventually, you have Jalen Hurts, Jamison Williams, Devontae Smith, all Alabama all the time. Philadelphia picks uh, Williams at uh, 15. Eagles also have the 16 pick. I think they help the other side of the ball, and they take cornerback Trent McDuffie out of Washington. I love this guy. Um, I would love for the Buffalo Bills to get him if he's available at 25 and they don't trade up. Trent McDuffie, you, the only thing you hear about is he has the short arms. I couldn't care less. He makes up for it in every other place. He's instinctual. He's a tremendous, tremendous cover guy. He's a great tackler. Uh, he's awesome uh, in terms of uh, you know joining to stop the run. Um, he, he, he's, he's a really good one. I, I like Trent McDuffie a lot. I think the Eagles take him at 16. Chris Olave, the best route runner in the draft at Ohio State, wide receiver. He goes to the Jets from that pick with the Chargers I mentioned earlier. Matt Carell, quarterback of Ole Miss. I have him going to the New Orleans Saints at 18. N'Kobe Dean, talented linebacker. Backer out of Georgia goes to the Eagles at 19. Man, does Philadelphia have a hall of picks here? And remember, they were a playoff team last year. They're not that far away, maybe, from making a deep playoff run if they can have a great draft or two in the coming years. Uh, Tyler Linder, Linderbaum, just a terrific offensive lineman out of Iowa. He's interchangeable. I have him going to the Pittsburgh Steelers at number 20. They need a lot of offensive line help. Charles Cross, I have dropping to number 21 from Mississippi State. Offensive lineman, he's a perfect Patriots player. I have him going there. I could see the Patriots also taking Zion Johnson, an offensive lineman out of BC. More on Johnson in a minute. Um, Traylon Burke, 6'3", 220. Perfect fit for the Green Bay Packers. They need wide receiver help. Valdez Scantling is gone in uh, 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 Kansas City. Uh, hello, Tyree Kill traded the, to the Miami Dolphins. I mean, they, they need receivers big time. They get a guy, Traylon Burks, to help out Aaron Rodgers at 22. Jordan Davis, defensive lineman, Georgia. Good grief. This could be a steal. It could be the steal of the draft. I think the Cardinals go D-line. They lose Chandler Jones on edge rushing to, to the Vegas Raiders. And I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and take Jordan Davis here out of Georgia. He could be a major game wrecker if he reaches his potential. Daxon Hill, safety out of Michigan, goes to the Cowboys. Kenyon Green, offensive lineman, Texas A&M, goes to the New York Giants in that trade with the Buffalo Bills. Sam Howell, quarterback, North Carolina, not getting a lot of play right now, not getting a lot of talk. Guess what? I think he goes to the Tennessee Titans. Ryan Tannehill coming up on the end of that contract. He's going to be 34. You got to have him. Uh, you got to have a replacement there very soon. Zion Johnson just mentioned him, offensive lineman out of BC. I got him going to the Tampa Bay Bucks at 27. Really, really great player, and he's a, a very versatile player. Can play line uh, or tackle. Excuse me. Can play guard. I've got Devontae Wyatt, defensive lineman, Georgia. Another underrated player on that arguably greatest defense of all time in college football. Uh, he goes to Kansas City at 29. I've got David. Um, I got David Abajo going to uh, to the Kansas City Chiefs, the edge rusher out of Michigan. Um, I, I just think Ajabo is, is a really, really good player. Uh, but again, he tore his Achilles, so he's going to miss a lot of this year, uh, if not all of it. Um, but I do think that they're going to be patient there, and I think the Chiefs really want to add more to the edge as well. I got... Uh, Let's see, two more. I got Kyer Elam, the cornerback from Florida, um, going to the Bengals at 31. And then I have Boye Mafe, maybe the coolest name in the draft. Defensive lineman, Minnesota. Really, really good player. Tough kid, physical. He goes to the Lions at 32. There's my NFL round one mock draft. I'm Mike Lindsley. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hit me on Twitter, at Mike L Sports. Here at Rosie's Corner, they've got it all, man. Pizza, wings, pasta, hot and cold subs, and more. Get your NFL draft dinner tonight here at Rosie's Corner and make sure to pick up that gold fever sauce as well. Salads, 
uh, all kinds of drinks, all kinds of desserts ready to roll here at Rosie's Corner. Mac and cheese and fish both today and tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.